Hey guys, it's Cyrus of Chaos. I'm here with Rolf Bisdorf, and today we're going to be watching this bout between Alessio Focconi and Li Kuang Hyun in the semifinals of the 2016 Grand Prix in Shanghai, China. So I'm going to let Rolf introduce himself and tell us why he picked this bout, and then we'll start watching. So, Rolf, take it away. Hi, my name is Rolf Bisdorf. Uh, I'm currently lead coach for FOIL at Mark's Fencing Academy um, in Concord, Massachusetts, here in the United States. Um, why did I pick this bout? Because um, I think we see Focconi at an earlier stage of his development. I mean, now he's much higher ranked in the world than, than he was then. Um, and last time we did, a, we did a video about footwork and fast footwork. So I choose Lee because he is probably one of the fastest fencers out there. Um, second reason is because there's a big lead uh, and then there is lead changes. There's a lot of um adjustments uh, i think and it's interesting and obviously for Cody now is a much more developed fencer and has climbed the rankings um so i think it's exciting to look a bit little bit back um and see how he how he was about two three years ago yeah definitely it's, it's always cool to see how the the top fencers change or have have changed so hmm? All right, so you can see now? Yeah, no, it's good. Nice long pushing attack from Raconi right off the bat. Yeah, but the attack is actually short. So his attack is short, uh, is actually parried. And then um, I think Lee starts a little bit too fast there uh, and then runs into a hit and get away, or some people call it long arm. Uh, I call it hit and get away. So here is parried. And then here is the, is the long arm right into, right into the first step there. Mm. So I believe that the transition from backwards forward of Lee too fast and Fokoni actually on purpose short. Gotcha. Let's watch that one one more time. So here he pushes. And you see Lee is holding his balance pretty well until that moment when yeah. he comes in a little too quickly. Yeah, so so I, I think Focconi on, on purpose short and then from, from there, uh, just using using Lee's fast step to do that hit and get, a, to do that hit and get away. Uh, so I think it's designed, uh, it, it, it's, not, it's not something that he didn't plan. So um, designed on purpose short, let Lee parry and then on the first step uh, hit him because uh, assuming that Fokoni uh, knows that Lee is quite fast, so he uses the speed uh, of, of Lee to his advantage in this case. Right. So he parried and then right into that first step, uh, long arm uses the reach. Um, so pretty good. That's important, right? Like I feel like a lot of people are scared by the speed of their oppo opponents, but you can use their speed against them too. So, yeah, that that is correct. I mean, especially with 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 the Koreans, which are which are very fast. So sometimes they are too fast. Um, so so you can use that against them. Um, and then if you try to run away, that becomes a little bit more tricky. Um, once, once you back up. So in here is, is, I think, similar similar hit. Uh, I believe it was short again. And then uh, a remise, not as much going back there as before, um, but still short. And then using that first fast step of Lee uh, for the counter, he goes back again a little bit there. So he pushes forward. Short uh, and looks like it's a it's a remise right on that right on that transition from backwards to forward of Lee. Yeah, very quick counterattack here. So here hop short and then right there uh, counters and closes the four. So similar setup attack on purpose short um, and then from there doing a counterattack. So two similar, two similar hits in the, in, in the beginning. So 
So a similar setup, attack is short, hits the, hits the hand. Right, he, he actually hits this time. Then. Wow. So, and, and, and here we, we see, I think, the first variation of, of, of Fokoni. Before his two counterattacks, um, then probably assuming that Lee will come a little bit straighter and does a counter pair repost, target is the shoulder. I think that's going to get important later um, because um, he, he'll try to hit more often on, 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 on the shoulder. Yeah, the shoulder is so a hard again, target to counter, hit. Counter, counter pair repost on, on, on the shoulder. Mm. Um, what, what I don't like currently on, on Lee's side is... Um, I think in defense, he's very passive. Um, he always gets pushed back fairly easy. Uh, and he doesn't have an answer yet for that short attack. And we see now right off the line, he tries to put more pressure to not let Fokoni get into this, into this forward movement. And um, tries to close the distance and remise and protect the shoulder a little, a little bit. So Lee is doing the first adjustments, in my opinion. Moving, moving, moving more forward. Uh, don't give Fokoni so much space, mm -hmm. um, and trying to speed up the the bout a little bit. And so far, all the hits have been in Lee's half. Um, so every time he, he goes back, he's he's a little bit in trouble there. So he tries to push a little bit more forward. Yeah, that's true. What was Fokoni carded for? Uh, I think core core to avoid the shot. I think that's not a really necessary yellow card. <laughs> but we see now uh, Lee, Lee tries to make the match faster, tries to push a little bit forward. I um, think here he misreads the situation a little bit. Um, he thought that Fokoni stopped. Um, but I think it's cl too, close to, too close to call. Um, I think three years later, he might have a better chance to get the call, but in 2016... Yeah, that looked like attack probably, to me. So. Probably not. So, so in my opinion, that's, that, that's still attack. So he, he misreads the situation. But you see that, or we see that Lee is already doing adjustments. He goes, for, he goes more forward, um, tries to speed up the match, um, and tries to take things away that, that, that Fokoni likes. Um, so, so in the beginning, the match was rather slow. So I think the match is getting faster. Um, the match was rather in Fokoni's half. Um, that one changes. So Lee is starting, starting to, 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 to adjust. Um, Fokoni, no need to adjust yet because he's, he's, he's leading and didn't get hit yet. Yeah, I also noticed that that touch, Lee looked a little bit more active on defense, which is something that you said he was not doing in the first part of the bout. Well, in the first part of the bout, they go back and, and it's all the time similar distance also. So, so Lee tries to keep the distance. Right. Uh, and I think if you're as fast as him, he should manipulate distance, uh, whether that's going in and out or whether that's going out or in. Uh, but keeping the distance relatively uh, in the same, I don't think that will, that will help him uh, because that's playing into, into Fokoni's game. Yeah. Um, if, and if, you are, yeah if you're as fast as Lee, manipulate the distance in, in, in defense, um, and then got to be a little bit more careful after he parries that, that you don't start too fast. So I would slow that one a little bit down, uh, but be more active and more decisive in defense, uh, reactive against Fokori that might not work so well. Yeah, he's got the leg speed. He should use it a little more. Yeah. I mean, we see here now he tries to do a little bit less with the blade. Um, same here, we, 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 tried, we, we see that he's trying a counter. So he's going through his options. Um, and I think even though Lee is 5-0 down, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how he currently fences. So he tried with pair repost, didn't work. Okay, so then after that, he tried pushing forward, it didn't work. He tried to find an attack on preparation, didn't work. He tried a counter attack now, also didn't work. So it's not that he gets hit often on the same thing and with, with the same mistake, uh, he tries things. So he always goes next option, next option, next option. Mm -hmm. And so far, so far, he doesn't get rewarded. He doesn't get rewarded for it. But if I would be sitting on, on Lee's bench, currently I would still be quite happy on that he's trying new things. Yeah. I, so so, so, so uh, instead of, so, so he tried to solve the problem twice with a parry, didn't work. 
then he tried to solve the problem or uh, to avoid the problem getting pushed back by changing <laughs> strategy and going forward. Yeah. And then now attack on preparation didn't work. Counterattack didn't work. So he has gone through, gone through four options, has not succeeded yet, um, but he's still trying to find something that, that will ultimately work. Um, and so far, many adjustments, speed adjustments, getting the bout in a different part of the, of the, of the, of the strip. Um, switching from right of way to not right of way, uh, so quite, quite interesting. Even though he's he hasn't scored yet. So, what would be your suggestion to Lee to try next? Well, um, currently, currently he has several problems, right? So he has one problem: if if Focconi goes forward and pushes him, uh, he doesn't get hit by the attack, so the attack is mostly short. So he has to find a solution for what, what am I going to do when the attack is short? Mm -hmm. so he ran twice into that hit and get away, um, or that long arm, how other people call it. He ran once into that circular six pair repost uh, where, where he got hit on the shoulder. So in defense, that change of direction from backwards forward is too fast. So he has to slow that down so he can wait there longer. Um, so so a parry, wait. Um, and I would go to the extreme. I would wait until Focconi starts backing up, uh, and now I would chase him. Now I would chase him down. So yeah. instead of like to make a safer transition. Yes, and I mean once once people move backwards, um, they move backwards, right? So hit and get away <laughs> gets a little bit more difficult because they're already on the on the way back. So the the moment gets a little bit more tricky. Um, once the front leg goes back in lunge and, and, and then people start moving back, it's, it's still possible to counterattack, but it's not so easy. So I would do that. In defense, I would manipulate the distance, what we have said before. I would try to make the match faster. I would try to push forward a little bit more. And then ultimately, um, I would try to protect my shoulder. So even if I attack, try to run into that six. If you can get around, that's great. Uh, if you run into that six, protect the shoulder, uh, go really close quarter, do a remise there. So that's currently, that's currently the things that um, that I would that I would I would tell him. Okay. Um, there's one more thing, but uh, we have no data yet there. Uh, what happens if the distance is collapsing? If both go for, if both go forward, uh, like in a simultaneous. Uh, so there's no data there yet. Um, there is one now here. Uh, both go forward off the line. So in that one, he has it. He hesitated too. He hesitated too much um, and got frozen there a little bit on the spot because Focconi just waited and, and 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 stood there. So there was no space to go anywhere. Similar to the initial problem. Here, the next is on the shoulder again. Um, so. It seems to be clear that Focconi tries to like to likes to hit the shoulder uh, if he goes direct, and everything that's not direct um, is is on purpose short. Wow, that was a great pull, and yeah. and he he transitioned a little more safely that time. Yes, um, and and I think here in this one and also in the next one where he now scores, um, it seems like. Before, the situation was always created by Focconi. So Focconi, Focconi does the attack short and basically says, hey, want to attack me? Here is an option. Um, and those two transitions were the first two, which I think were created by Lee. So, hey, I'm out of the distance. I jump out of the distance. And he creates the situation for him. Yeah, interesting distinction. So same here too. So he, he now tried to take the blade on the first step. So to avoid that he didn't get away. I think that's a, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So stick stick to the blade a little bit longer. So 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 Lee is doing a lot of small adjustments, which 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 I really like. So every hit gets a little bit better. That looks like attack counter attack. Uh, because Focconi a little bit too slow. Yep, Lee, on his feet. Yeah, Lee Lee with with, with like a, a jump um, and looks always faster. So once they go to the once they go to. Once they go to the to the desk, there is pretty pretty safe as attack counter attack. Yep. 
good call. <laughs> if not, he wouldn't go there. <laughs> and then if you slow it, if you slow it down to seventy percent, uh, it will look pretty good for Lee, I would guess. Yeah. There's that foot speed you were talking about. Yeah. So now more pressure off the line. Um, protected the shoulder there, not as well as, as he could, but a little bit better. So yeah, more off the line. So it didn't get hit on the on the shoulder. And Focconi is still stuck with the six, so he hasn't done anything else than six yet. So um, for for Lee, either getting around or then protecting the shoulder if he runs into that six. There you go, protecting the shoulder. Yes. So, so, so what Lee? I think what Lee knows is Focconi is going to parry six. Primary target is the shoulder. So either I get around. If I don't get around, I got to go close and protect that protect that shoulder with with my speed. Um, and you can see he closes the six with 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 the arm there. So that one, well done. Um, and you see Lee. Every hit is 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 there's an evolution, and he he's he's trying to to solve his problems. So here they both pull. Um, if I give Lee some credit here, I think he was assuming that Focconi will come faster off the line to avoid that he pushes him. Um, so so at that at that seven. So here because the the, the the hit before was fast off the line, he ran into that six and then into the remise. And I think Lee was hoping that next time Focconi will push a little bit harder and run into Lee's second intention mm -hmm. because he looks for a six there. So here, that, that, that six. So if Focconi hits, it's, it's, it's Focconi's hit. Um, but I think Lee, Lee tried to put so much pressure on him to draw him out there and, and do that six. Um, and tactically, that's a, that, that's a good decision that, that he takes there. Yeah. So here he protects the shoulder again. So, so um, now when he counters, he, he protects all the time uh, the outside line and the shoulder there. That's three kind of situations that have happened where it was either simultaneous or it looked like Focconi's right of way and Focconi just doesn't hit him. Do you think that yes. that's a mistake on Focconi's part or Lee doing something unexpected with the distance or a combination of both? Well, that's what we talked in the, in the beginning, right? In the beginning, the, the distance was always, it, the, the match was always moving in one direction. So Focconi so far hit, I push forward. When there's a counter, I score. I push forward, I stop. And then both fences move in the same direction. Um, that's why I was talking before about collapsing distance. So mm -hmm. now what happens if both go forward? So the distance gets smaller. Uh, there normally, the smaller fencer has a little bit of an advantage there. The more agile fencer has a little bit of advantage there. And Focconi likes it slow. And then in this case, it's a little bit too slow. It's a little bit too hesitant. Um, and, and Lee has found something that that works. So now this collapsing distance is, is the third hit in a row where it works, where they, where they both go forward. Um, so he has found something that works for him. So I would encourage him to keep uh, doing that, to, to keep, to keep doing that. Uh, and then once in a while, mix that second intention in mm -hmm. And here is just Lee more dynamic for Coney, a little bit too slow. And then maybe not decisive enough in the, in, in, in the end. Uh, but I think the key here is the collapsing distance. Gotcha. Just putting Focconi in a, in a position he's less comfortable in. Yeah, change the environment. I mean, before is everything like, okay, either forward and, and Lee goes back. Uh, and now it, it's a collapsing distance. A little bit like Sabre right there. Yeah. <laughs> And again, so here again, the protected the outside line to make sure that he doesn't get hit on the shoulder, even though it was a preem. Um, but has analyzed where he got hit, Lee. So, and once you get the call, you will get it again. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no, they call. They call. I would call it a tackle target. Yep, good call again. Yeah, because he he looked for the he looked for the blade there.
Hmm. So here again, uh, Lee is now more active. So he, he forced Fokoni to finish. Um, again, protected the outside line. So, so in defense, there is this in and out. Um, so here pushes forward. So right of way changes. So then there's this fast movement in and try to try to force him to finish. And here again, protect the outside line. So so he makes sure that he doesn't get he doesn't get hit on the shoulder in the flank anymore. Yeah, he's he's definitely doing a good job of that. Yeah, and then in the in the end, he will he's getting more active there. So there's more leg movements, more, 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 more. Still pretty stable, and in the end, he has no choice. He has to counter there because um, he's running out of space. No more space, but makes the best out of the situation. Ooh. So here's again the six shoulder. This one, uh, in my my opinion, Lee does the mistake before he closed the distance, protected the shoulder. Here he tries to get away. Um, I, I wouldn't do that. I mean, he got away far enough so that it's off target. Um, but the whole distance was a little bit too far. Hmm. Uh, the attack w was t was too far. Um, and then probably maybe even the better decision to go back there because if he goes forward, it might just hit nicely on the shoulder for Fokoni. Ooh, that was pretty. And Fokoni's getting so frustrated it, with his weapon. Yes, so here, here that's, what, that's what we just have seen before. So the attack, he runs into the six, protects the shoulder, go, continues to go forward. This one, uh, br brilliant hit. And then uh, Fokoni actually pretty, pretty good there. So here six, and then protects again the shoulder and, and continues to fo go forward. Um, took Fokoni six hits to change the blade. Um, <laughs> so, so now tries, tries to interrupt the, the flow there. Um, and what's interesting is after about a minute, Fokoni was leading 7-0. Now we are back at 7-6, kind of a minute later. Yeah. Um, and in the moment, it looks like uh, Lee has the better has the better actions, has found a few solutions, and Fokoni hasn't really changed yet. Yeah, even though Fokoni is winning, it feels like Lee is dictating the bout right now. Yeah. So here's that hit and get away again, but it's 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 off target. So and here he got, that, that's actually the first attack that hits. He got around that six. Yeah. Um, and again, more pressure off the line. Gets around that six. Um, nice, nice hit. Yeah, it was, it was a nice it was a nice provocation that got Fakoni to commit to uh, four so that he could go around and under it. Yeah, and it's again from this collapsing, collapsing distance. Um, now at seven, seven, um, what what is always dangerous when you, when when you are led by seven hits or when it's seven zero you come back to seven seven that you now um, go down one gear so that you don't continue to fence the same way because like okay I finally caught up um, so psychologically um, if 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 it would be a team match or if again if I would see on sit on Lee's bench um, I would now make sure that he continues to fence. So it's not like, okay, 7-7, seven, seven, we can take a breather. I will try to get the lead here because that's psychologically very important. You you lead the first time. So very often when people catch up that much, they, they, they kind of relax. Yeah, they do a mental break and then things go things go downhill from there. Um, so, so in this case, as a coach, I would interfere and say, hey, we're going to score the next one. Uh, it's important that we get a lead. Yeah, and also from the perspective of the person who was up, it can be difficult because you just had a huge lead and then suddenly it's even again. So from that person's perspective, they may start to become a little bit more tight and you kind of want to become a little more loose in this situation because you may have been losing these touches out of nervousness and you definitely don't want to be in that mindset at this moment. Yeah, that that's true. I mean, if... if if, if that happened uh, to, to me or if it happens to, to some kids that I coach, um, when people catch up, 
I always try to think the other way around, right? So Focconi was leading 7-0. Okay, he needs eight more hits to win the match. Um, so from Focconi's position, nothing has changed. So hmm. he has less margin of error now. Or sometimes it's important when you're 7-0 up and it's 7-5, you just tell yourself, hey, I'm still leading by two. Everything is fine. Yeah. So a lot, so a lot of people get obsessed with this like, oh, he's catching up, he's catching <laughs> up. Y yes. Uh, but for you to get to 15, nothing must have ch has changed. You need another eight hits. Um, and you need to find those eight hits. And currently, Focconi hasn't changed much, so he's not finding a single hit. Uh, so for Focconi, it's more important to like, hey, what is my next hit? Uh, and I wouldn't get so obsessed with, with people catching up. Um, sometimes it helps if you flip the score, if you're like, okay, um, the guy needs to beat me 8-7. Okay. Okay. Um, that doesn't sound so bad as like, oh, I was leading 7-0 and he's caught up to 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm. So I, I, I take a look at the end point in, the, in, in, in this match and then like, how far am I away? And then sometimes, or in, in my life, that always calmed me down when I was leading uh, and then people catch up. I tell myself, hey, I'm still leading by two. Everything is fine. Or like, I still need eight. Nothing changed. Yeah, that's an interesting way to think about it. So now Focconi not so much ready off the line and, and Lee better off the line. Yeah, the last two times Lee's made an attack like that, it seems like he's caught Focconi a little flat-footed. Yeah. Like trying uh, to... I always wonder whether the the high-level men's foil and the high-level saber in, in, in Korea, whether they, whether they talk about simultaneous together. Um, <laughs> because a lot of things like, in, in this case, um, similar to say, similar decision making then in Sabre the situation in Sabre happens more often both people go off the line I always wonder whether there's communication between um, Korean uh, Sabre and Korean foil in this case hmm. because it seems that the Korean foilists are pretty good in when it comes off the line so this one is a similar hit like in the beginning uh, I think Lee did a distance mistake there yeah got a little too close also, I thought it was interesting the way Lee changed his angle on the strip. I think it's the first time we've seen somebody move laterally like that. Yeah. Uh, I, if I would be Lee, I would rather stay on the right side of the strip to protect my shoulder. Yeah. I wouldn't go... Um, <laughs> Yeah, he's... But it might, it might be that he wants to continue forward and with a preem get to the flank um, so that from from here he can close the six right away. So in a similar hit, like again, like in the beginning, we have this hit and get away again. And again, he's fencing him on an angle right now. Yeah. So here it's on purpose. Short situation is created by Focconi, not by Lee. Mm -hmm. So... so um... Oh! <laughs> That's interesting. The mask is conducting. Yeah, Shanghai. Uh, I fenced in that shopping mall before too. There's no. It. It. it if, I, if I remember, it was pretty warm. Shanghai is pretty humid. I think that happens once in a while. Yeah. But often, often those hits are actually not on the mask. Sometimes people confuse that the hit is here and then the blade hits the mask, and the people think they actually hit the mask. Right. So I'm not convinced that that one was on the mask. It didn't didn't look to me that it was really on the bus, but <laughs> there's no replay, so we wouldn't be able to figure out. So, and here again, uh, I think Lee gets too fast. So, so, so. So, yeah. and then same, same thing. So, uh, situation was again created by Focconi. So there was nothing happened on the simultaneous. Focconi goes forward, he stops and offers Lee to attack there. So um, uh, Lee gets a little bit too excited, excited there when, when the situation is created by Focconi. Hmm. So and if I would be Focconi, I would push one more time. So he was 7-0 down, uh, uh, up, now 7-7, seven, seven, you hit three more, I would push. So I think that's a good decision. That's a good decision of of Focconi uh, hitting the shoulder on a simultaneous 
<laughs> yeah, it's, a little, um, it's a little risky. It's interesting, yes, because the distance changes so fast. Um, uh, I think he was more successful in, in, in not collapsing distance there. But it's something that he can actually hit. Yeah. <laughs> So that makes sense for both of them. So for Kony tried one more, I, I would have done the same. Lee, I, I would go back and, 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 and talk. Um, and now if, if I would be on either side, I, 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 I can take either side. So if I take Lee's side, I would say, uh, you've got to make sure that your transition from backward to forward is, is good and that you created the situation. If you didn't create the situation, Wait, go really slow, and make sure that Fokoni backs up, and then chase him, chase him down. Um, so going on situations that Fokoni created doesn't make much sense. Um, I would stick to more pressure of the line. Um, eventually, if I parry from backwards to forward, I will stay on the blade a little bit longer. He did that once. Uh, he's doing a great job. Uh, he has a small system there when he goes forward, so. Either I get around that six, I hit my attack, or if I get on, the, if 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 Fokoni gets the six, uh, I close the shoulder and continue forward. I I like that system, um, and currently I would say collapsing distance is quite good. Yeah, he's winning. Match. He's winning most of the simultaneous actions. Yeah, yeah. So collapsing distance, um, protect the shoulder, careful changes of direction backward forward with the speed. Create your own situations um, and minimize the mistakes. Um, for 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 Kony, um, I would I would do more second intentions on um, on the simultaneous, um, and I would mix a circle of four or something in there. So I I would go away from that six for a while, because in that environment where. For Kony parry six, either Lee gets around, good for Lee, or he or he gets parried. Then for Kony goes to the shoulder, um, and uh, blocks that out. So it's protected target. Yeah. yeah. So either either you change the parry uh, with a four, or uh, you do an indirect repost. You do an indirect repost. Um, and in the beginning, what I liked is when for Kony actually went back uh, on Lee's attack. Let him fall short, so don't get engaged there, and then slowly push forward. So um, instead of engaging in the middle, I would stay away, push slowly forward, and get into the slow, slow pushing uh, movement again. Yeah. But currently, even though Lee is down, I think he has the better answers. If he minimizes mistakes, he should be fine. And there, he he was a lot safer on that transition right there. Yes. So and waited until Fokoni backs up. Then he has space, and then as soon as he has space, he can cre he can create his speed. So he hop waits until Fokoni gets back, and then bam creates the space, um, and 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 hits and hits him there. So this one. Yeah, that was a great touch. Per perfect transition from backwards to forward. Um, tries to get him under pressure there. Oh my god. <laughs> that pull was crazy. Well, it's like Korean saber, no? Yeah, no, it definitely is. <laughs> so again, push off the line. Okay, that's good. And then the takeover, relatively safe because he went so far back with the upper body. Yeah. There's no way to long arm or to do hit and get away there. Still going to the shoulder, huh? Yeah, still going to the shoulder. This one, Lee... Um, Got caught on the collapsing distance him, him, himself and wasn't decisive. Here, better better to finish the attack. Yeah. So this one I like from Fokoni. Distance is bigger, uh, and avoided the remise uh, because uh, went went further back with his six parry. Now let's watch that one one more time. Yeah, so here he made the distance on purpose bigger because he was assuming that uh, Lee will remise. Um, so, so instead of staying in a distance, make it bigger and assume opponent comes forward and then hit him there. Uh, Lee didn't didn't go forward because I think he, he understands he's too far. Yeah. And then just make sure that, that, that there's no hit. Uh, I think Lee very aware of the distance there. 
But I like that Foconi tried to change the environment there a little bit and make, make the distance bigger. So there's an adjustment on Foconi's side, which I like. And there, once again, that kind of first zone action is favoring Lee. Yeah, I, this one I would want to see in, in, in slow-mo because I actually think that's Lee's attack. Wow, that was interesting. Yeah, this one cut over a little bit of hesitation to provoke the counterattack and then do, uh, do parry repost. So the blade goes up fast off the line, try to draw him out, which actually works, but then the repost doesn't work. And then what, he's trying to get a replay for Cora Cora to avoid Cora, a touch? Cora, Cora Cora to avoid the repost, um, but he missed the repost. It's Cora Cora to avoid the remise. I think there is no card for that. <laughs> I think it happens quite often nowadays that people do a core call to avoid the repost. Um, I, I think it gets carded more often now, but this one was the release, so there's uh, no reason to card him. Yeah. Wow, again. So, so same, same hit before. So yeah. it, looks like, it looks like on the Italian side, uh, on Focconi's side, they have to talk about this collapsing distance. Um, so, um, and it still looks like like primary target is the is is the shoulder um so so but i think they have addressed that 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 when 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 lee goes too fast that this uh, counter attack flick on the shoulder is 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 quite good um and again lee could be a little bit more conservative there on 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 that go or maybe try a second intention there yeah right that that's the problem for me is that lee is collapsing the distance too quickly without being ready to finish yeah, but he tried before with this holding back. He tried a second intention there, so yeah, S still okay with the strategy there. So he didn't go there anymore. So Lee Lee made an adjustment again. So I said, okay, I'm not going to that collapsing distance. I got I got hit there twice, so he didn't go there. So he said, okay, I need to create another environment, um, and took the takeover again, because here like he goes forward. I'm not going there. Rather go back short and then he waits extremely long there so he has to parry and waits extremely long until Focconi decides what's happening so you think that's different from the the transition situation before just because of the way that lee waited for Focconi's reaction there yes because before uh with with his fast step he enabled Focconi to do something and here he just waits so and then Focconi doesn't go back uh and then Foconi has to decide, right? So I either counter there. So, and then you see, he, he, wants he actually to. tried. Yeah. He wanted to do a, a, a long arm or hit and get away, but Lee didn't go forward. And then he, he had to make it a counter close. And then Lee waited extremely long. That's a, that's a perfect hit. That's really, really great fall fencing. So, <laughs> so uh, back on the shoulder. Um, I also believe that, that that fits into the strategy, like, okay, get into the slow push forward. What I don't like is that they fall in love with the shoulder. In my opinion, it's too much on the shoulder. Uh, Lee, will, Lee will probably figure that out because now every hit is on the shoulder. If I would be Lee, I would make sure shoulder is closed. Yeah, he was closing it well before, but he seems to have stopped doing that. Yeah. Not this time. <laughs> so, 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 so this time, um, Lee keeps the. So he makes sure that if, if you take a look at the arm, he makes sure that the the shoulder and the outside line is constantly protected. So here, the blade is on his right side, right side, right side. He blicks. So it's so a right side shoulder, no target, and he keeps everything close um, until Foconi hesitates and then starts the counter. Um, that one. So here. Keeps everything, everything outside line close, um, and then and then Foconi hesitates and he he counters him there. Mm -hmm. uh, I would also say that's a high class hit. Would you re would do you think this one is worth a replay? Uh, I would say it's attack of target from the left. I think uh, Lee Lee hesitated there a little bit. So here that one is the one before. Let's take a look. But I mean, like from from Lee's perspective, it's either called Simul or it's called attack off target. But it it like 
It, it's possible it could be called it's a his. Target. Yeah, it's possible it could be called his. And at this point in the bout, there's not a whole lot you're saving your replay for, right? Uh, how many replays does he have left? He has one which he didn't get for the card. Yeah, possibly. Um, I think as a fencer, I mean, th those guys are top top fencers in the world. I think as a as a as a top fencer in the world, you kind of know. Uh, where you have a chance and where you don't have a chance. So, so here, if you take a look at the body language right away, so uh, Lee doesn't celebrate, uh, and and right after the hit, he's like, oh, he actually celebrates, and he's like, yeah, okay, it's correct. So once you once you nod the head twice, it's correct. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you need to try to to do a replay anymore. Yeah, and I think the call is quite obvious. So same thing again. So the attack from Focconi is short. So so um, and I think on purpose short. And again, Lee waits really really long. Uh, yeah, a much safer that transition. Replay. Yeah. So that 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 replay, which which the uh, which the organizer there offers, doesn't really help. <laughs> but here he waits. So here waits and then rewrite their perfect moment. So the timing the timing for that pretty straight attack there is 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 outstanding. Here you just see the execution, um, and Focconi has no no choice than trying to close that four. Ooh. So here uh, again, protect at the shoulder, um, and Focconi should 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 open a new target. Uh, one time six indirect uh, to the chest, and then you have way more options. I think he. Unfortunately, he falls in love too much with the shoulder. I hope he never watches this video. <laughs> but I, I think he, he falls in love a little bit much, too much with the shoulder there. He gets a little bit stuck with the target. Mm. So, and then here he tried to parry again, and then Lee gets around that six. Uh, they hear the transition a little bit faster. So and 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 gets him there. One more time on that one. Whoops, a little too far back. Yeah, um, that's that's the one before. But it's a it's a great example how 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 Lee protected the shoulder there. Yeah. Yeah, this one pretty good, but in my opinion, tiny tiny little bit too fast there. <laughs> Yeah. If Fokoni does a hit and get away there, that's going to be trouble a, for him. That's going to be a close, close hit. Wow. Whereas this, whereas this one is, is is brilliant. I mean, you you lead the first time, high high risk hit. Fokoni didn't seem ready for 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 anything there off the line. Um, I went a little too far back. And here you see Focconi on the on the hit before already halfway halfway back he knows he's gonna get hit. So in here it looks like Focconi didn't have an idea what he wants what he wants to do. Uh, so he goes one step forward, gets frozen frozen there. I don't know whether he wanted to go on that shoulder again, um, and it and it was protected. This one for this one we need to take a look at the at the replay maybe that yeah, I'm, to I'm... see whether whether on the, that first step the shoulder was protected and. He couldn't really go there. I'm hoping for a replay, but I'm not sure we're going to get to see it. Uh, it doesn't look like it, I think. <laughs> they are happy to send him home. Um, or to send him into his... Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So here, is the shoulder protected? I think, I think if he goes for the shoulder, that's, uh, that's a potential, potential hit. Um, but it looks like didn't really have a have a have a good plan to um, to do something to do something there. Um, might have been interesting to take the mask off uh, be, be, be before that hit and uh, really focus on 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 what you do. It looks like uh, Focconi didn't really have an idea of what what he wants to do there off off the line. So and and I mean if I look back at the at the match. Um, I find it quite amazing how how Lee in the beginning goes through various options. Okay, this one not working, this one not working. I go to the next one, I go to the next one. 
Um, and he does a mixture of fine tuning, uh, that transition backwards forward and going through his options. Like, okay, I tried with Perry. Let me try takeover. Let me try counterattack. Let me try pushing off the line. Let me try to get into this, um, into this collapsing distance situation. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's, it's kind of a masterpiece of, Hey, I try everything out uh, until I find something. Um, and then once he found something with that collapsing distance, with that, okay, I protect my shoulder, um, I fine-tune my transition backwards forward, I be a little bit more active, I make the bout a little bit faster, I try to get it more and more in the other half. Um, I think he got, he got a hand on this. And, and for Kony, um, I'm pretty sure if he would fence the match in 2020, um, he would do way more adjustments uh, than he did there. I mean, he developed incredibly as a fencer over the last uh, Olympic Olympic cycle. Yeah. Um, and and uh, there he got a little bit stuck uh, with that hit on the shoulder um, and a little bit stuck with the attack on purpose short. So it might have been a good idea to just push one through or something uh, to give to give Lee a little bit more to think of um, when 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 uh when defending yeah what kind of changes other than the ability to adjust do you think Faconi has made since this bout happened i i mean it, 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 in twenty sixteen he was already amazing with 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 distance um, um i think he's even more amazing with distance now um uh, i think in defense now he he he's way tighter um way more accurate um, and I would say currently probably one of the best defensive fencers so he doesn't give you much space if you go too fast um, you run into you run into into a counter-attack um, protects his target well there with with with, with the blade um, I, I think he got way tighter and and way more variations um, in, in, in as compared to what we what we saw now um, so, so, so everything is just like a few levels better distance wise, timing wise, and I think strategy wise, he developed also. Um, so, so for a fence of his age, it's actually quite interesting the development he that that he had of the past few years. So he really made a big jump uh, in the in the in the last in the last years, which is which is exciting to see. Yeah, now he medals at almost every tournament. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it, it, it is, and. Um, I mean, going into uh, if, if this year there would have been Oli Olympic Games, he would have probably somebody to put the money on for 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 a medal. Yeah. Um, um, I think if if the Olympic Games happen next year, it's gonna be uh, a little bit more complicated than than normal Olympic Games to see like who gets back into the groove, how many competitions will be there be, be beforehand. So it's gonna be interesting to see how everybody adjusts. Yeah, the, just, un the uncertainty makes it really difficult. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think, I mean, it's still, it's still more than one year down the road. And um, let's see when, when competitions will resume and international competitions will resume. Um, but I think it's a disruption. And let's see whether somebody comes really uh, back off this break stronger, um, uh, better prepared, how much video have, have, they, have they watched at home. And I think for some, the break will give them a better chance to medal next year. For some, um, it will interrupt the good flow that they were in. Um, so, so let's see how that is going to play out um, in the next few months or in the next year. Yeah, definitely. All right, Ralph, thank you very much for watching this bout with me. Yeah, no problem. My, 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 my pleasure. Um, Any time currently is a little bit easier <laughs> as we are all still on lockdown. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you. Good. No problem.